Hello, hello. Today I'm here to swatch the brand new Toasty collection from Zoya that I got in PR. This is their winter transitional collection and it ranges from a medium gray to a deep raisin purple color and I love all these colors. They're so pretty. This is Abigail, Crystal, Ray, Hattie, Elowen, and the dark purple is Aura. And I love these colors for right now. We're in that weird in-between. It's not quite spring. It's still technically winter, but we're all over it. So, of course, I started off making a dry mess. <laughs> Luckily, it cleaned right up. So this gray color is Abigail, and according to the website, it can be best described as a medium elephant gray with cool undertones in a cream formula. So even on first swatch, you can see it totally covers the nail, which is great, but I always do two passes with all of my polishes. I just prefer it that way. <clears throat> and I made another mess under my nail there. I don't know if you can see it, but I, I don't even know how that kept getting underneath my nail without getting all over my finger. Don't ask, because I don't know. The next shade's Crystal, and this is a muted gray mulberry with warm undertones and a cream formula. And you can tell in the swatch that it's definitely a warmer gray than Abigail. And again, it only took one pass to cover my nail, which is usually the case with the Zoya cream shades. <clears throat> And you'll see later in the video, but once I got it out into natural light, it almost had a little bit of a purple hue to it, which I guess they say with the um, gray mulberry, I guess that's what they meant. So this next one is Ray, and this is described as a dusty rose suede with subtle warm and tan undertones in a cream formula. This one, I, can, I could tell as soon as I opened the package, is my favorite. It's just that perfect everyday pink that kind of is almost a neutral because it goes with my skin tone so well and I just I love it I don't know what I was doing with my <laughs> swatch there so please don't make fun of me that seemed a little erratic but that one's beautiful and will be great for under nail art and everything because it's, it's so neutral on me this next one is Hattie and it's described as a rosy Tuscan pink in a cream formula and that one had a little bit more like corally, peachy notes to it. And this last one is Elowen. And it's described as a spicy, rich Cabernet and a cream formula. And sometimes, especially with my th the thumb, for some reason, I'm still learning to swatch on camera. And, you know, you don't see the setup with the lights and all that above me. So I'm having to kind of contort myself in a certain way. And then... Sometimes I forget to make sure that my thumb is still in camera there, but we got it. So that is the first five shades, and then I will be um, swatching Aura for you as well. But this is all of those five together on my hand, and I actually really like, I didn't think I'd like them all together like that, but once it was on and in the daylight, I love the way it all looked together and kind of flowed as a ombre manny, skittle manny, whatever you want to call it. I will definitely be doing this one again. What do you guys think is that your style manny? This last shot here, I did Zoya Rachel on the pinky finger. You can see how much darker it is. And then Zoya Dogmar on the middle and Zoya Elowen. I could not tell the difference between Zoya Dogmar and Elowen. So you can see on the thumb here, I'm doing Dogmar on the right and I did Elowen on the left. Here you can see the two bottles and you can see how they even look really similar in the bottle. And definitely, again, on my thumb there, you can see no difference under this light. And then here they are under the natural sunlight. And I don't know, what do you guys think? So there's a dip in my thumb, sorry, but what do you think about the color? I could not tell a difference. What about you? And last but not least, we have Zoya Aura, which is the pretty purple shade. It's described on their site as a dark chocolate raspberry in a cream and I think that's a great description. It definitely resembles raspberries dipped in dark chocolate type color. And um, so here you can see it on my thumb. Definitely a really pretty winter shade that can be pulled into this transitional time. And also, I think this would be a great one for the fall. And here it is in the natural light. 
again i love this dark purple plum type shade there it is an even brighter and here i've decided to compare it i have smith and colt filth noir on my pinky and ring finger and then zoya dog or sorry zoya aura on the pointer middle and thumb so you can see the smith and colt filth noir and zoya aura are very very similar in the natural light um the only way i could describe the difference in here in the really brighter sunlight is that the filth noir is a brighter and the other one's more of a hazy purpley cream Overall, I definitely love this collection. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. And please, if you're enjoying these videos, like and subscribe. And if you're new subscriber here, make sure you say hello in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.